Good Monday morning, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm back. And I hope you are too. A few less technical difficulties this week, it looks like, so we're off to a real early start. Uh, thank you for joining us here at the Coffin Comics Shopping Channel Network. Still trying to figure out what's the proper way to call it, but I like the shopping network. Anywho, i uh, got a lot of really good things we're going to focus on today. And today it's a little special. We're actually going to focus on one artist today and some of the multiple works he's done with us here at Coffin. And that is David Harrigan. So everyone, virtual round of applause to David Harrigan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he has done over 100 images for us here at Coffin Comics. And he does beautiful, amazing work. Some of his influence are people like Bruce Timm. Uh, Masimo Nishiro, just to name a few, or the two, but uh, he has been working with us uh, for years and he's produced some great stuff, including the new Mardi Gras editions that is available here at the LadyDeathUniverse.com. So definitely check it out, get his newest piece from us. Let's start off with the first thing today. This is one of my favorite, and this is the first thing I ever saw by Mr. Harrigan. The Lady Death Sworn. This is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, something we offered at Fiend Fest last year, very popular item. We even made a little um, emanu uh, enamel pen that glows in the dark from this image. I think it captures Lady Death and everything Coffin Comics is all about. Um, definitely, we have stuff of these uh, these available right now. It is only twenty dollars, and just look at this. Look at this stuff. Just beautiful. It's beautiful. And I, I really, if anyone has, didn't make it to Swornfest, um, please, tickets are available for Swornfest coming up next February. Those tickets are available. They went on sale on Friday. Next thing I want to show you by Mr. Harrigan, and this one I really like. Here's something we do that I have not seen anywhere else. This is a metal card. This is the Death from Above. Again, only 199 made, and this is another great piece by Mr. Harrigan. And I like that's a great big throwback to the old 1940s uh, World War II era pinups. And one thing I like about the metal cards, and working here at Coffin, is we're really trying to think outside of the box to create something new, different, things you haven't seen. And the metallic cards, um, when I first helped out at one of the booths at the 2015 um, Phoenix Comic Con, I was blown away. I had never seen anything like this along with the metal and jewel covers. And that's one thing we're about. We're always trying to think outside the box, create something that hopefully you've never seen before and probably never will again. But if they, you do see it, normally they got it from us, Coffee Comics. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I have today from Mr. Harrigan is a nice little mini print. These are only $3. We have tons of uh, different images uh, from different artists, from different campaigns over the years. Um, these are a fun little thing. I like collecting mini prints in a nice little card binder with the nice little inserts um, for usually postcard size or bigger. And they're just really nice little fun adverts um, for some of the things we've offered. And a lot of this stuff was uh, things we've kicked in and. We've started to sell them. They've been very popular with a lot of our customers. And again, it's something we think outside the box. What fun little things do we have? We have wooden nickels we sell. I mean, really cool, interesting stuff. So I really like that we try to think outside of the box. We try to give you something unusual. The next thing I have right now, and this is one of my favorites, Bloody Hammer. This is a really cool uh, homage throwback to the old Hammer horror films that were uh, producing horror films from the 1950s through early mid 70s. Um, they were mostly known for uh, redoing like Frankenstein and Dracula and all these other cool horror things, mummy included. And they were in color, they were bloody, and they had lots of cleavage. They were very much known for their cleavage. It was the first time I remember watching some of these shows as a kid on the World Beyond on Saturday mornings. I was blown away because one, these were pretty bloody films that I wasn't used to that had Frankenstein and Dracula and all these other characters I was used to through the old Universal series. So this was a really neat uh, homage to those things. Um, I believe the image um, was taken from uh, 
Circus of Vampires, or the, the name is escaping me right now, but it's very iconic. Just love how the blood is just dripping down those fangs. And it's just, of course, I got to cover it up because when things get wet and white, they're see through. <laughs> so I had to put some little pasties in there because, you know, we don't want to get in trouble with anyone. But again, as I alliterated in the past, most of our books are not made for children. They're for the more mature readers out there and the collectors of beautiful, fine art like these kind of things from David Harrigan. Another thing I have to offer that I'd like to show you, and this is a series of four different metal cards that he did for us. We have the Ritual One. This one is stunning. I saw someone um, have one of their covers um, of one of these images where they had it jeweled, and it was amazing. Very beautiful piece. Um, we have these again. These are the metal cards. Total metal, just like we are. All about the metal. There was only 99 of these produced. I have probably 30 left, I think we have left in stock. Um, so again, some of this stuff, um, if it sells out, I apologize. We don't make tons of editions of them. We definitely make them for the collector and for someone who just really likes really cool, fine art. Uh, metal prints, are, or on the uh, metal cards, I should say, are only $15. Check them out. I think they're a beautiful piece. Next one. Oops, she fell down. She's top heavy. We have the ritual <laughs> tool image. Look at that. Another, just slight differences with the coloring. The design on her hat is radically different. And the designs and all the coloring on the robes is also just pops out at you. Um, I'd love to see uh, a metal car jeweled. Um, that's something I have yet to see. I think it could be something absolutely stupendous to watch get done. Um, if anyone knows uh, Shannon, she really does a great job when she does some of our events that she attends. And hopefully, one oh. of these days she'll do it. Oh, that's why we you're so top heavy. <laughs> I should have gotten the bigger, bigger cubes for these ones. But again, they're metal. They ain't gonna break. Um, if you sharpen the edges, you probably could poke your eye out or something else. Next, I have Ritual 3. Let's see if we can do this without dropping. Oh, oh boy. It didn't fall this time. Yay. Again, another variation on the image. Um, again, look at the design work he does on the hats. Look at all these just little details, the LDs along her sleeves. It's just beautiful piece. Look at this. Just uh, look how it shines, too. I love the shininess of these things. And all you guys have to do is click on the links to go ahead and pick up the items that we were showing today. And then, like so many have been doing um, the last couple of shows, they've been clicking on and finding other items that they want, uh, prints, um, other editions, graphic novels, a um, little bit of everything we offer. And we're just giving you samples of stuff that is done by the great David Harrigan. And the last one of the metal cards we have is Ritual 4. That one, the hat is, is a, I know it's a, a, a very big Catholic hat, but it always struck me the first time I saw it as an umbrella, just by the way the design was. And it's interesting that just, he's got changed it up a bit, a bit with the rats. Um, along here, I like the red color he uses. It's just really stunning. Look at how that shines. Again, this is a metallic card. Um, there's only 99 of these in production. Um, some of them we have had pure print runs on, but mostly we try to keep it to 99, 199. But these are really popular, especially during our Kickstarters. Sometimes the sets sell so quickly, we do not have anything available uh, later on. <clears throat> and I must correct myself, these are not $15, these are actually $12 a piece. So my apologies for giving you that wrong information. I'll try not to do that again, but I will, because I stick my foot in my mouth. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing I have for you guys today, something that we've offered in the direct markets at comic shops. This is Lady Death Revelations. This is the Naughty Edition. It's $40. Again, I really love detailing they have he's done on this just 
Look at that. This is another thing I think would be nicely jeweled. I mean, just think of all those spikes on her collars and all around her just sparkling with beautiful silver. I even think there would should, something would look really nice on the hilt as well. But again, David Harrigan, he has just really knocked it out of the park for us so many times and he's definitely a contributor we enjoy doing business with, as with everyone else that has contributed with us. Um, like I said, he is the first artist I have featured on this show. Um, there will be others um, throughout the future and through upcoming episodes. And if there's anyone else, please give me a shout out. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. I'm here to answer them. And we're here to provide whatever we can to put in your hands and in your collection or on your walls. The next thing I have today <coughs> is the companion piece to the bloody hammer. This is just the naughty hammer. Again, another beautiful homage to the Hammer Horror films. Again, I had to put a little pasties on there. I had to get creative because um, I know some people do get upset over nudity. So, but look at this. This is just stunning. Mm -hmm. Great homage book. And this one's only $30. We didn't produce too many of these. I think it was probably, uh, what, about 100 to 200, I believe it was? 99. 99. Under 100. So once these are gone, they are gone. Um, this is also one of our mini gallery and pinup books we have, uh, where it shows you lots of different cover art or images that artists have done from us over the years. So definitely check this out. Um, there's lots of cool pinup pieces we have, and we're really known for having beautiful, striking images of Lady Death, La Muerta, and Hell, which are main characters that are just badass women that are in badass stories that'll kick everyone's ass. So this is just, I just love this. I was really excited when it came in. I, I think Brandy will test. I freaked out over the images. Like, oh my God, it's a, it's a homage to the Hammer Horror films. It's stunning. And I like how he did it so you can see the silhouette of her form between the uh, clothing with the light. I really like that because that's another thing I remember from those old films. The lighting of the silhouette of the women coming down in their nightgowns and you could just see the form just shining right through it. It's just oh, stunning stuff. He really captured what I feel was the essence of Hammer Horror in this image. And we are lucky that we have him creating this stuff for us. A um, couple other announcements I wanted to make to you guys. <clears throat> ECCC. Did I say too many C's? I might have said enough C's. That's going to be um, March 12th through the 15th. And we are planning to be there at booth 944. So, as Brian likes to call it, it's the bad boy corner. Apparently they like putting us in the corner because they can try to contain our energy. But anyone seen Brian at shows, <sighs> you cannot cage that man nor his energy. And I am going to be there. I hope to meet a lot of you will be joining us at that show. It should be a lot of fun and I'm excited because it's my first trip to Seattle. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing some old friendly faces from my Portland days. So anyways, please come on by, check it out. It's in a great town, Se uh, Seattle. We are definitely looking forward to meeting you and I'm looking forward to eating some of this amazing food I keep hearing about that's available in Seattle. So definitely check us out, it's booth 944. And that's gonna be the week of March 12th through the 15th. So definitely come on out and check it out. It's a great show. I've heard nothing but great things. Um, another thing I'd like to announce is um, the Swarm, Swarm Fest tickets have been on sale since Friday. They've been doing really good. We definitely invite you to get tickets. Come see us and hang out with us for one a memorable moment. Uh, we had a great time. Lots of people from all over the world. You get to meet fiends and the Swarm from all over the world. Literally from New Zealand, all the way from California, all parts in between, Europe, England, France, you name it, they've come out to support us and it's a lot of fun. It really is. It's like nothing you will ever experience and a lot of people have met some really good friendships. The Sworn and the Fiends are a really tight-knit group. Um, I know we've come together to help some members of our family um, with health issues and stuff. I know Brian really looks forward to you guys, your family. You're the ones that feed us. You're the ones that give us these roofs. You guys 
help us make this stuff. So we invite you to come out to Swarm Fest, and that's in February of 2021. You can get tickets now. Also, for our Lady Death Kickstarter, we're randomly going to be throwing in tickets to some lucky winners. We'll be winning tickets to those. So if you backed us, check out some of the cool stuff we're going to throw in. Uh, next up I have is another mini print. This is also $3, done by Mr. Perry. I really like the minis. This is the other a ritual. I really would love, I wish we did like a oh, chromium cover of this because those would just sparkle and shine. But we had another great image done by Mr. Harrigan and it's only $3. Excuse me. <laughs> Next up I have for everyone today, I think we've seen this before, but this has been probably one of the biggest books um, to come out of the direct market was the Bombshell cover. Uh, this one's $50. This one came out last year for the Lady Death Hell Raiders, number one. And this book went gangbusters for us. We've got a lot of orders for this book. Um, a lot of our wholesalers were picking up. It was very hot. It was in high demand and we were lucky enough just to have the few copies we do have to offer to you here on the show and on our website also. And it's only $15. This is the Lady Death Hell Raiders number one bombshell edition. And next up we have, oops, let's go back here. This is another direct market offering we have. This is the Lady Death Unholy Ruin number one naughty edition. It's $40. And one thing about our direct market editions is we offer many different types of edition. You have your standard editions. We have a B cover usually has like a name like bombshells or some of the other many different names we give them. Uh, along with the premium foil editions, the naughty editions, incentives, and mega incentives. And those are all the things we offer, not just for the direct market, but you guys can also pick them up at our store, Lady ladydeathshop.com. Again, really beautiful pieces. Really nice, sparkly. I just imagined she's coming down to the graveyard to grab your souls. And that golden sickle, well, stay away from it. She's going to cleave you in two. I also like that I was able to put my fancy star sparklies on there because <laughs> nothing worse than I have to cut out. All the little papers to make everything fit when you can put the little stickers. I love it because it adds a little something special. It's almost like a showgirls kind of thing where they go choo, 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 stuff like that. But anyways, that one is $40. Um, we do have quite a few in stock, so please check it out. Click on the link, do shopping. This is where you can pick up all these items, including the items from last week's show, which was our graphic novel trade paperback show. We still have plenty of stock on some of those. Some things, like I say, they are just been around for so long. Our stock is shrinking quickly. So if you have any questions on anything, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com and we'll get back to you or forward it to the person or individual here at Coffin Comics that can better help answer those questions for you. My next thing I have today is the Lady Death Hell Raiders Naughty Edition. Again, really striking piece. Um, sorry I got sloppy with the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep it nice and neat. But again, another really cool image. This one um, also reminds me of um, something I would see like on the, on the tank of a motorcycle. Just a really cool, iconic image of Lady Death. Um, it is a homage to something uh, Stephen Hughes did from us uh, over at Chaos Comics from back in the day. And it's a really cool image. It's like, yeah, come here if you dare. So I highly highly recommend this one as well as my ever favorite bombshells those are a couple of my favorite uh, that we offer on the direct market um, some other things that are coming today that i'd like to present to you it's right over here this is for our other character Hellwitch. this is the paramore edition this is something we offered um last valentine's day if i recall um, it's only $20. There was a print run of about 113 copies is all we produced of this. Um, 
So once these are gone, they're gone. I mean, maybe we might have some uh, publisher file copies in the back we might dig out years later. Um, sometimes the Art of Proof editions will offer those at shows or at later dates. Um, but in some cases, this is usually what we offer and they do tend to go fairly quickly. This is another piece that I love. I love the, the dramatic poses they do. I mean, he really captures a lot of the cool dramatic imagery of pinups that I like. Um, it's not just beautiful um, with our characters too. It's like they're powerful. It's just a powerful image. Um, again, it's like Cupid's arrow. They shoot Cupid's arrow into your heart. And this is another wonderful, wonderful piece that Mr. Harrigan did for us. Um, some other interesting things I learned about David Harrigan when I, um, looking up uh, some of his books he's done with us over the years. Um, I really like that he has great taste in music. He loves punk rock, goth, metal. So he fits in quite well. Um, I also like that he's a big uh, anime fan. Um, I too also like quite a bit of anime. Not caught up on some of the more recent titles um, like I used to be back in the day, but it was nice to see um, that you can tell by his influences by some of these anime and manga artists in his images. Just really nice, beautiful pieces. Next thing we have, this one was offered for the, um, <coughs> excuse me, for May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. This is a very popular piece. This is the Naughty Lady Slave. It is only $30. Again, we didn't do a huge run and the stock on these are going fairly quickly. We are already out of the nice edition. I mean, there's 370 of this. And the other one, which I believe was the same amount, um, was gone fairly quickly. I cannot find any anywhere. I think I was able to pull out one for our Kickstarter event that we had uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, that was the last one I found and it got scooped up really, really fast. And anytime it comes around to May the 4th, uh, Brian likes to create homages to Star Wars. Um, we did one, Death Wars was another popular one we did. Um, and it's something we try to think of fun, creative things to do covers to offer to you guys because we're geeks too. We are the biggest geeks. We just have to be the geeks that get to produce the stuff. And that's one thing that's fun about being on this side of the business for the first time. I get to see how the publication process works. Where do the ideas come from? How do the writers come up with these ideas? Um, Brian always loves to show samples of upcoming artwork he's got from this, whatever artist he's discovered or returning artists. It's been a lot of fun and it's something unique from someone coming from just the retail side where I see the finished project. Here I get to see everything and how it's created and how it's promoted. Um, we all really love this stuff and I think it shows what we put out to you guys. I really do. Again, this is David Harrigan's work. He's been doing stuff for us for years. I mean, look at this stuff. We have tons of it. I wish I had everything to show, but over a hundred images, my goodness, a lot of them still aren't even around anymore. So what you see, if you like what you like, definitely click on the link, pick them up. Also check out some of the other stuff we have by Mr. Harrigan. This is just a small sampling of maybe 22 items I was running around trying to find to um, show off uh, his works for us. Um, again, click on the links, pick up what you like, and then do some snooping around, and I bet we have a bunch of really cool stuff we can offer you. Um, anything from mini prints to 11 by 17 prints, graphic novels, comics, pinup books. We have a little bit of everything, and it's all because we love comics. Next up, we have the 152,750 edition. This is a Lady Death Gallery book. Again, has lots of really fine art from multiple creators. Um, this was a celebration, I believe, for beating a stretch, uh, our merciless finished onslaught. Merciless Onslaught. That's Kickstarter. our final number Kickstarter we did. It's really cool. Again, it captures who we are. Lady Death, you got the sworn, you got the horns. You just got it all there for you in one beautiful piece. And this one's only $11. We do have limited quantities available. Like you say, once they're gone, they're gone. And these gallery books, look at it. It's really nice gloss. 
It's not real cheap paper. We really do beautiful. Look at that. It just shines. Just a beautiful high gloss cover. And inside you have bunches of different pinup art. This is the Lady Diff Gallery. There we go. Just showing you some of the different pieces we've had done over the years. I, this was a very popular one. The chopper. That's awesome. And again, we, we always do fun little pinup books. This is an amazing piece. Just, I mean, just more and more every time you turn the page. Just more dramatic pieces. That's another really good one. And this is the type of stuff we offer inside the galleries. Again, we only make so many copies of some of these editions. And once they're gone, that's it. Um, especially when it comes to the cover art. We do lots of really cool exclusive stuff. And we like to show it off and pass it on to you. Next, I have over here. This is from uh, La Muerta Vengeance. This is Sexy Sangre. This is $40. If I recall, this item was previously, well, I can't take off the top, but it was offered for the direct market. Oh yeah, I, this character, when she showed up, I was really hoping they would just get rid of the character. She was beautiful and everything, but man, she is tough and she is vicious. She is one vicious character. And that's one thing you, uh, you'll find at Coffin Comics. A lot of really strong, beautiful women that are vicious when push comes to sub, shove. And they take no crap from anyone at all. Again, this piece is only $40. Um, we do have a few in stock. Um, so definitely click on the links. Pick up what you got. Check out what else we have. Because there's a lot more than what I'm showing you today. Um, if anyone has any questions, please shout it out. Brandy will give a shout out to me and I will reply. And real quick, I just want to send out a thank you to someone. A Robert Bradford. I got a package today. Uh, he was coming from, uh, sent it from Burlington, Washington. He sent me this awesome NECA Atomic Power Godzilla figure. Um, thank you so much. Uh, in case anyone doesn't know, I'm a huge kaiju nut. I love everything kaiju. Um, and this was a very big surprise. I was really shocked to get uh, something like this in the mail from uh, one of our fans. So thank you, Robert, very much. Um, you made my day. Um, on we go to the next. Next we have the La Muerta Paramore. This is also something we offered on last day, uh, Valentine's Day, I should say. And again, another beautiful piece of La Muerta. Just, they're made to look like the little Cupid's arrows and stuff. Look at that. Just beautiful. And this is also a La Muerta pinup book. And inside it, more dramatic images from Richard Ortiz, Alex Runland. I love the grindhouse covers we do for La Muerta. Very iconic. This is the first image I remember seeing for La Muerta when Brian first told me about it. And I was pretty much sold on this book. Um, and watching how Brian explains um, the stories behind his books, he's so animated and he gets so into it. It's just like, wow, I'm watching a mini movie right there. So watching Brian pimp his books and the art is, is a lot of fun to do. This is only $20. They say we only produced 113 of these. So once these are gone, that is it. They are gone. We hit stop. Snooze. Stop. stop. Nope, try again. Stop. <laughs> Apple watches. Who mm -hmm. knows? I don't know how to work them. I'm not a big tech fan, and I'm afraid to have a computer on my wrist. I'm afraid I'll get some sort of tuma. <laughs> Anyways. Um, for those who have just joined us, we are doing a special episode on the works of David Harrigan. Um, he's also done two new covers for us for Mardi Gras celebration. So click on the link and look up Mr. Harrigan and you will see his Mardi Gras editions that uh, just came out uh, over this weekend uh, for our most recent promo. Again, he has done over a hundred images for us over the years and 
I'm sure we have a hundred more for him to do. But these are just some of the great pieces he's done over the years. Everything from Kickstarter editions to direct market pieces to prints to... I'm not surprised we don't even have his images on a t-shirt yet, but who knows? We're just getting there. We're always coming up with new, fun, cool things to offer you guys. Also, everyone, thank you again for backing our Kickstarter. It is off to the races. Uh, last I checked uh, before we started, we were at 291,000. Um, lots of new backers. Thank you everyone for the returning backers. I mean, we can't do what we do without your guys' help and support. Um, Coffin Comics lives, bleeds, and exists for you because of you. So we appreciate all the business, we appreciate all the backers and all the people that share it and put these books into people's hands saying, hey, I really love Coffin Comics. I love Lady Death. Do you remember Chaos? Boom, this is the continuing story now of Lady Death. And then from there, we're slowly creating our own universe. We now have the Coffinverse, all our characters from Zack, La Muerta, Hellwitch, of course, and all, all merging with Lady Death. And you're gonna be seeing that in the fu next future chapters of the uh, Lady Death series that we have offering. I'm looking forward to it because I got to saw a piece with my girl La Muerta in it, so I'm really excited to see uh, <laughs> how her and Lady Death meet up and Let's see what happens. <laughs> Nothing will happen to my girl. Uh, again, we are featuring the pieces done by David Harrigan. He is a contributor of ours here at Coffin Comics. He's done multiple images with us over the years. Beautiful art. I highly recommend everyone check out his stuff. He's a really nice guy. And actually, David, I have to say, Thank you for helping me out in Tucson to put up the very large banner we have with all the prints on it. I was having a struggle and him being a pro <laughs> ran up to me. Do you need a hand? I'm like, oh, hell yes, I do need a hand. So again, if I didn't uh, thank you personally, I'd like to do it now. David Harrigan, thank you very much for the help in setting up that display because that was really hard to do for one person <laughs> who did it for the first time that day. So. Thank you again, I really appreciate it. It was also fun uh, chatting with you on and off throughout the weekend here, uh, down here in Tucson. So thank you again, sir. Again, lots of the, all this art images are done by David Harrigan. He is a contributor of ours. And one thing we also like to do in our Kickstarters um, that I've seen multiple times is we offer two cover sets. And these are usually uh, pinups, or they're also the first half of a chapter of a comic, 24 pages. This set is $25. And these are the bombshells that we offered for uh, La Muerta Ascension. We have the Naughty Bond shell, and the Sombra edition, and Mama Z editions. And again, I like um, the silhouettes he does. It's like real classic lingerie. Uh, pieces, really good homage throwbacks to the old 1940s and 50s pinups. Um, just really beautiful pieces. Um, we always uh, tend to have sets like this available, um, sometimes more than one. I think at the most recent Lady Death one, we offered like three different, like a three pack and a two pack. Might have been four, but we always try to offer something for everyone. So, all everyone who contributes and picks up on the newest um, tiers we offer. They're scooping up lots of stuff like this that we only do very limited amounts of, so once they're down. So once they're done, that's it, they're done. Um, sometimes we'll use the images for future pinups or art books. I mean, like I say, it all depends. But this you're getting two books for $75. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pinup pieces. Next, here's another uh, two-pack we offer. This is the, from Last Rites, this is the Mama Z set. Naughty mm -hmm. set, of course, but just <sighs> stunning. I just love how you have the hell, hellish vision and a heavenly vision. It's really 
beautiful pieces. And it really captures that personality. Mama Z is one badass character you do not want to mess with. And Muerta has her hands full when she's taking care of her. Again, this is a Kickstarter, previously a Kickstarter offering. $75 for the set, and you get two comics. Also, guys, if you are wondering if Brian Polito signs the books you order, yes, he does. You can have the books signed or unsigned. Just give us a little extra time for if you'd like to be signed. It does take a while to get everything lined up and prepped and ready to go for Brian to sign, but he will definitely sign anything you order from our stores. And it is pretty impressive because we will lay out, I think I've seen tables going throughout the warehouse, <laughs> along the hall and down the other hall. I've even seen some lined up in the museum and he literally will go through and sign every single copy. And then we have to go behind him and make sure we got everything. Check, check, check. I don't know how he does it, um, but he does it. And he does it because that's what the fans like. And Brian is all about hooking up the fans, making them excite him, and getting really good quality, fun books for all you bad boys and girls out there. Next things uh, we have, I'm almost running out of things, but I just wanna also let you guys know, if you have any questions, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Um, whoever checks those emails, they will definitely deliver and forward it to the correct people to get you the correct answers. And we try to be as prompt. On these days, it's Monday through Friday, nine to five is when you will tend to get a reply from us. Um, we are all home on the weekends with our families. It's one thing I do like about uh, working here at Coffin is it's definitely very family oriented business. We really like to make sure we work hard for you eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, and then the weekends, we like to rest. So if you have any questions, send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Next up, I have the one and only the La Muerta Naughty Paramore. Again, this is a companion piece to the Paramore. Um, this one is $30. Again, I had to give it the little pasty treatment, but I made sure they sparkle. I like the sparkles of those. I like those too. <laughs> They're really pretty. So, there you go. Look at that. There you go, so we can get a good picture. Ew. Zoom in on that. Look at that. Just beautiful. I love the texture of the wings. I love the makeup. There you go. I like how each character, their bows and arrows are slightly different. There's all these nice different changes he does for each character that really captures who they are. Just really beautiful piece. And this again was offered last Valentine's Day. Um, we only have so many available, so once they're gone, they are gone off into the ether and into the heavenly arms of the comic gods. Yes, Miguel, it's me. <laughs> Hi, Miguel. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you at the Kickstarter. Thank you very much for coming out and joining us. I hope your foot is feeling better. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Naughty Paramour. Look at this one. Just stunning. This is our Hell Witch one. I love the look of the wings. Um, I really like the texture he does on it. I mean, just wow. Look at that. Wow. Tilt it up a little bit. Whoop. Off and towards me. Oh, pink. There you go. All right. This piece is $30. Again, we have uh, numbers on the bottom that tells you how many we published of those. Um, we only really do a few extras uh, in case of loss and damages on our book. So, like I say, we do do very limited quantity stuff, especially for our Kickstarters. We could do some additions like the medals where we do only 13 and they are thrown in um, to these Kickstarters randomly for folks. It's really cool that we offer that. Not a lot of people are able to give you that much value for your dollar when you're backing our Kickstarters. We really try to make it worthwhile, whether 
you're just buying the basic $20 graphic novel or you're buying the huge mega baller sets that are hundreds of dollars, very rare. We're always throwing in fun little tip and stuff so everyone has a chance to win something or get a prize that a lot of people figure, oh, well, only the top tiers get them. No, they do not. We try to spread it around evenly. And then over here, this is again, if you're just joining us, this is the selection we have. We're focusing on David Harrigan today. Miguel, if you're still with us, what was uh, one of your Harrigan pieces um, that you've seen that was really dramatic to you or just where you were like, I gotta have it, I can't live without it. If you're still there, please uh, give a shout out with your answer and Brandy will repeat it to me. Um, again, Anyone out there watching us, please definitely give a shout out. If you have any questions, shoot them to me right now. I'd be happy to answer it for you. We are showing today the works of David Harrigan, who has done over 100 images for us over the years, including his newest Mardi Gras edition, uh, Naughty Mardi Gras. There's an A and B cover. And you can find that by clicking on the link to do your shopping for these and then search around, type in David Harrigan and you will definitely find tons of pieces that he's done with us. Miguel uh, said his F13 covers. F13s, I have not seen um, the F13s. I've heard about them. I saw the naughty Friday the 13th <laughs> and Friday the 13th. Uh, those ones I thought were really cool homages, very gorgeous, uh, sexy Jason Voorhees as Lady Death just Slaying. I loved how he included the, the um, oh God, the little doc mm -hmm. that you always see in all the Friday the 13th movies. And it was a really cool, fun, cheeky, horrific homage to Friday the 13th. He really did an excellent job. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what other fun stuff um, he, was, he did. Um, which F13 um, was that offered on there, Miguel? How far back? And he also said the devil lady death. Yes, that one is hugely <laughs> popular. I've only seen uh, one copy of that since I've been here, and it's been a little bit over a year. But that one um, is very popular, and that one is really cool. I loved how he did the horns uh, coming out of her head and the tail. It was just really nice, nice piece. And that is another one that a lot of people really, really like. Again, if you're just joining us, this is all the work of... David Harrigan, he has done over a hundred images with us here at Coffin Comics. And I thought it'd be nice to give a shout out to him and just show you samplings of uh, one of the many artists that have worked with us here over the years at Coffin Comics. Again, we have two pack sets. This set is 75. Again, guys, click on the link and shop away. Go ahead and pick the things to your heart's content. If you like anything signed, Please let us know in description. Uh, we will definitely make sure your book's is signed. Just to let you know, it does take a little extra time because we do need time to get the books laid out and make sure Brian is available to do these signings. Next up, I have... Another Naughty Sangri. This is a Kickstarter one. We only did 100 and was it 59? 50, 150 copies of this. And again, Really dramatic. Look at the attitude on her face. I mean, I love the, the gold-plated guns she has. She's in a gold throne. I mean, she is gangsta thugged out from the barrio. You do not want to mess with this girl. She will take you out with the trash and then dig you up and take you out to the trash again. She's such a cool character. Beautiful image. I love the tattooing on her side of her head right there. Pull it out. She's got a great mohawk. Just pull her out. Well, I'll pull her out and just discreetly put my fingers right there. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, look at those tattoos. I mean, this is just really beautiful pinup. This is from uh, our Kickstarter Vengeance for La Muerta. I believe this was chapter three in the series. Yes. And... Just a stunning, stunning piece of art by David Harrigan representing that character. Go ahead and Put drop that. Boop, boop. And again, this naughty uh, sangria edition is only $40. 
And again, only 150 of this was produced. So once they are gone, they are gone. If you're just joining us, this is the works of David Harrigan here at Coffin Comics. Thank you for checking out the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. If you have any questions, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. We do do things a little differently than some of the other shows you're probably used to here on this channel. What we tend to do is there is a link, go ahead and click on it, and that leads you to our store and these offerings right here. And we, you can also go from there and see what else we have of yours uh, that might be great in your collection. Uh, we sell prints, we sell comics, we sell graphic novels, we have art books, and when we have them, we'll have statues, figurines. Um, a lot of that stuff does not last long because the fiends gobble it up. We have a little bit of something for everyone who's a big fan of Lady Death. Look at that. Sexy Lady Slave. Sorry, I don't have the non-naughty version. It just blew out. I think it was one of the few times I've seen a non-naughty edition sell faster than the regular. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was like, wow, that was out in no time. And my final piece I'd like to show for you guys today. <clears throat> this is... The celebration of Dar David Harrigan's 100th piece, the Friday the 13th Centennial. This was the 100th image he did for us. Um, this sold extremely well. We are almost out. $25 for this edition. Again, David Harrigan. This is his 100th edition piece he's done for us. We figure a perfect way to celebrate would be on Friday the 13th. Um, just mm -hmm. look at that. Look at that, the skulls in the background. Love the numbering on the foreheads of the skulls. That beautiful chair, I wanna sit in that chair because that looks real comfy and I really love old antique looking chairs. The look on her face. Oh, the too. look on her face is like mischievous, devious, and oh, so beautiful. Just that sexy grin just ah, melts your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Again, and this is um, 24 pages of the Extinction Express number one book. This would be chapter three in the Lady Death universe. But yeah, you get a 24 page comic book. Look at that, so dramatic. Look at that action. Do not mess with Lady Death, nor her cool stallion. Look at that horse. I mean, beautiful pieces. And like I say, we do a lot of these fun editions because people really dig very covers. Um, they dig limited covers. It's been extremely <laughs> pleasure to learn all this stuff. Um, and then there it is. There you go. Celebrating 100. That's really cool. That's just really cool. And that just shows um, artists that have worked with us so much over the years. I mean, and... We pay homage to them. They just, we couldn't do it without them just as we couldn't produce what we do without you guys. So thank you very much, David Harrigan and all the other artists that have worked with us over the times. Lastly, again, this is final swipe right here. We have for $30, the Fiend Fest exclusive Swarm, the Bloody Hammer. Only 99 of brews. We have $30 on this. $3 for the mini prints. I have two offering. I have one of the rituals. And then this feisty little piece of Lady Death Rules. Also, we have the Naughty Hammer. This one is also $30. All our metal cards are $12. The ritual set. Like I say, there's other David Harrigan images on our store. Just drop on in, check it out. And these are metal cards. They are $12, and they are a unique piece to add to your collection. We have the Direct Mark Revelations, Lady Death Revelations. This one is $40. Get another beautiful piece. Raiders Naughty Edition is also 40. 
Unholy Ruin number one, Naughty Edition 40. Look at that. Colors just amazing. Really beautiful colors. And one of our popular ones also mm. from the direct market, the Bombshell. This one is 15. We only have a few left of these. They say, Brian will sign anything you order from us. It's 152K. This one's $11. Naughty Lady Slave is 30. Hell Witch Paramour is 20. The La Muerta Paramour is 20 also. If you notice, we sold out of the Lady Death Paramour the same week we offered it, so that was gone in a flash. And we also have the Naughty Paramours. For La Muerta and Hellwitch, these are all thirty apiece. The alluring and powerful and deadly sexy Sangre. This is forty, and this was a Kickstarter offering. It's beautiful. Naughty Bombshell set seventy-five. This is also a Kickstarter exclusive for Lady uh, La Muerta Ascension. The 100th Centennial, Friday the 13th. This one is 25, and these are going quick. I do not have tons of quantities, so if you see what you like, click on the link and pick it up. Because once they're gone, they're gone. Another two-pack set. Naughty Heavenly and Hellish Mama Z. This is also $75, and this was a Kickstarter set. Again, Brian will sell anything you order from us. And La Muerte of Vengeance, Naughty Sangri. There's only 150 copies of this one produced. Again, thank you everyone for coming in and joining us. I'd like to say thank you again to David Harrigan. If you're just joining us, we've been focusing on David Harrigan's contributions to us here at Coffin Comics. He has done covers for Hellwitch. He's done covers for Lady Death. And he's done covers for La Muerta. If there's any questions you guys have at all for me, or any other inquiries, go to inquiries at coffincomics.com. And if you notice here where we sh uh, film, this is also a little boutique shop. We totally invite you to come in and shop. You just need to go inquiries at coffincomics.com so we can try to book the date and the time and make sure it's something we can actually do because this is also a publication business and it gets really busy and hectic, especially when it's close to Kickstarter stuff. So anything you have questions for, inquiries at Coffin Comics. Com. Another thing I would like to add is definitely keep supporting the Kickstarter. It is growing. It is getting bigger. So far, it is far exceeding the last one we did, Bless Me Anthem. This one is exploding really fast, and it's going out there quick. Uh, we've already uh, opened up over 20 stretch goal um, pieces, which are free things we give to you. That's 20 free little items, mini prints, stickers, um, wooden nickels, <laughs> buttons, pins, Colors. just a little bit of everything. I mean, we really give you a lot of value for backing our Kickstarter events. We can't do what we do without your guys' support or your help, and we are very grateful for that. So thank you very much for supporting Coffin Comics. Thank you for spending the time while I get on about David Harrigan, one of our contributors here at Coffin Comics. Again, if there's any questions you have, inquiries at coffincomics.com. We'd be love to hear from you, and we'd like to uh, answer those questions you may have. Again, click on the link to go ahead and pick out this, along with the many other items we have. Last week's offerings are still up until next Monday. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Trying not to do a bad cough on the air. Anyways. Inquiries, coffincomics.com, back us on Kickstarter. Check out the link and do your shopping. Pick up all your stuff. We have so much to offer you. If there's anything I can do to help find you, I've uh, responded to a couple people for the first show, and I've helped find a couple books they were needing um, to complete their Lady Death collection. Um, if I have it, I'd be more than happy to see if I can find it and get it in your hands, because we're all about getting you, the fans, our books, our product, both old and new, 
and everything you love about Brian Polito, everything you love about Lady Death, everything you love about the Coffinverse, which is growing, it's expanding, and we have nothing but bigger and better things we're going to be offering you each and every month. So thank you very much for joining me. My name is Julian the Hooligan, and I'll be seeing you guys next week. Bye-bye.